here we are, bike rider Scotland here on a rather nice Friday morning actually. Um, when I went home this morning it, it was it was quite wet. The um, roads are just drying up now and it's shaping up nicely. Um, we're heading up to the Red Squirrel campsite in Glencoe. A few more mates are already there. There's, um, the three of us now heading up that woman's side. We just left um, the barn there on the lawn. Got held up a wee bit in traffic, or we got split up a wee bit with the traffic there and with the roadworks in the Martin, but we're all back together now. So it's just make, make some progress here as best we can, up the left side, up to Tarbot, then hang a right to Tarbot, up the twisty section of Love Lomond, up to Payne Rock, and then another wee bit up um, to Glencoe. And I uh, the plan, the plan is to camp for a couple of nights at the Red Squirrel campsite in, in Glencoe. So that's the plan. Um, Donald in front in the Gutsy, Ken in the middle on the BMW. Um, the, good, the good thing about the um, Red Squirrel campsite is you're allowed to have fires. A lot of campsites they don't they don't really they don't like bikes coming in, but they don't like fires. But there's no, no problem at the squirrel, so Donald's got about uh, 40 kilos of timber in the back of that good thing, um, which will be, well certainly that will be, um, that will be tonight's fire. And there's a cracking pub as well, the crack egg, and we usually got music on, um, there'll certainly be music tomorrow night, a live band of sorts, but I'm sure there'll be some sort of entertainment for the troops um, tonight as well. Uh, it's, it's an amazing place actually. You go in there at 5 o'clock or 6 o'clock on a Saturday night and there's not a soul to be seen, but there's a big bar staff. And then, I don't know where they all come from, um, by 10 o'clock at night, you know, there's not a seat to be had. Um, the place is absolutely stowed. And it's right out in the middle of the but anyway, that's, that's quite a bit. I want to try and keep the three bikes together as best we can. The bike, the bike feels different this weekend because my daughter's been home from university for the last week, or the October week. And um, we've been out quite a lot on the bike, tour. It takes a wee bit of getting used to um, going from solo to two up and then once you get used to it two up it takes a little while to get used to back down to solo again but um just just getting used to it now now yeah, that's got rid of the lorry so that might open things up a wee bit This is the easy bit going up along Roman side here. Nice big wide road for us. But once we turn off at Tarbot, um, it changes to the way the way twisty part and there's a lot of roadworks at the moment going up the twisty part. Um, there's, been th there's been traffic lights there for about 30 years and uh, they're getting rid of the traffic lights. And it's quite a job actually, it's quite an engineering um, quite a feat of civil engineering. And the road's going out into the loch and it will be um, sort of supported on, on pillars. So that wee bit is, is happening at the moment, so no doubt it will be a bit of a hold up going up through the roadworks. Yeah, what they call poop bit block. Don't ask me why they call it poop bit block, but I'm sure it's got something to do with I don't know, it must have been a, it must have served as a church or something in earlier days. I don't know how many people are already up here, maybe, maybe two, maybe, maybe three. One of, one of the guys has dro drove up from Sheffield just the other day, so he's, he's a wee bit, a wee bit further travelled. So I'm to get just a wee bit smurry again, it's starting to dry up quite nicely then. The forecast isn't 
very good feeling all weekend. I think, I think that as, as the weekend progresses, I think the weather is going to get worse. It's going to be a fun one home in the rain. It's a good campsite, the um, Red Squirrel that we're going to, if anybody, anybody's doing a route planning or anything. It's just off the 82, just before Glencoe Village. You just go off to the right and the campsite's about a mile along there. It's quite good facilities as well, there's toilets and showers and what have you. And as I say, there's always the benefit of the clock egg for some entertainment. Might be a handy place to stop off if anybody was planning a wee route from the north. The good thing is there's no there's no problem with bikes, you can have as many as you like, just breeze in and I don't know what he charges, not a lot, it's about five quid or something for the night. So this, this is the real Loch Lomond side. There you are, there's the water over on the right there. Um, and as I say, it's, I think, maybe we've got a wee bit to go before we get into the roadworks proper. But they're, they are fairly, fairly serious roadworks. That water's very still. Not a, not a breath of air there, very mild. Maybe a wee bit damp, but very mild.